This video was sponsored by Edmonton Regional Helicopters. Over the past several months, you may have seen quite a few aerial photos like this, most of them owing to the global decline in air traffic. But these are seemingly taken while directly over an active airport. How's that possible? Well, I'm here in Edmonton today to answer that question and give you a behind the scenes look. My name is Wes uh, Sobolka. I'm chief pilot here at Edmonton Regional Helicopters. We're based right at the airport, the International Airport, uh, YEG, and uh, offer a um, variety of services, uh, city tours, quite popular, and of course some commercial uh, air work too. We've been tenants here for about seven years now, focusing on the uh, greater Edmonton area, and of course central Alberta, nothing's too far away. As with many airports across Canada, Edmonton International has been home to multiple stored aircraft over the past three months. For an aviation photographer like myself, although the circumstances are unfortunate, it is worth documenting. The only issue there is that Edmonton International is technically the largest airport in Canada by landmass. That makes it a bit tricky to capture, but with some planning and proper permission, it can actually be done from a helicopter. Well, a lot happens behind the scenes, um, but we do it all the time. Of course, we never fly without a flight plan. Even something that you and I did today at the airport required a request for some aerial photography and uh, operating inside the control zone. So uh, talking to Nav Canada and back and forth emails and of course our flight plan specifically explaining what we we're doing. So, and we do that for every flight. It's a matter of a flight following. It's a requirement, uh, safety and regulatory uh, reasons and uh, it's just part of every day. During a flight like this, you're in constant contact with air traffic control. Even in a less congested environment than normal, communication is key. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I mean, we're not LAX. Um, and now with, uh, with the COVID situation, uh, traffic is, is minimal. But still, as you were a witness too, it was a busy morning. Uh, many aircraft departing, taking off all at the same time. So working with uh, the tower in between those flights, trying to do an orbit around the tower and the other properties here on site uh, and keeping separation, uh, a challenge, but, but kind of a fun challenge. So you've got this aerial platform with a phenomenal view of everything, all organized and with proper permission, but the last thing any photographer wants to do is take a photo through glass. Uh, people often wonder, well, how do you get such great video and still photography from the helicopter. Well, the R44 here has got bubble windows. It's, it's huge visibility with the size of the windscreen. But we do uh, something even more than that. We take a door off. I did unfasten a few things before we did that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, an unimpeded uh, view for camera equipment. Uh, oftentimes um, the photographers, the videographers will have their own gimbal set up and have that on their lap and as we bank over and discuss uh, approach angles and things like that. So uh, again, just a beautiful system to allow for great photography. And uh, people ask uh, as well, what about the winter time? Absolutely in the winter time as well. Uh, we dress for it. Uh, it can be a little bit cold. but but it works great. So door off, dress for it, and uh, actually makes for some amazing opportunities for video and, and still photography in the winter months. Of course, it was mid-June 2020 when this flight took place, and Edmonton Regional Helicopters has taken all the appropriate precautions. I mean, we are a commercial air carrier like any other uh, service, and so we are bound by the same restrictions and guidelines that Transport Canada uh, dictates to us, um, of course, the disinfecting, the masks, all of that uh, very relevant. So yeah, that's been a challenge. But the advantage with the helicopter world and with what we're doing here is we have uh, very much control over contact with individuals. Our passengers are usually the same uh, from the same household and uh, the only uh, close proximity with someone else is the pilot. And of course, with all the usual uh, PPE necessary, uh, which we honor, it really is a safe experience. Uh, we take it quite seriously. 
And um, for the most part, we depart from our location and return to the same location. We're not moving throughout the, you know, the province or, or, or transiting other provinces. So for our intended purposes, it actually is very controllable, very safe. In addition to their commercial operations, Edmonton Regional Helicopters offer several sightseeing packages, including one to Rocky Mountain House and Abraham Lake, which is only a 45-minute flight from Edmonton. We do some commercial work, as I mentioned before, uh, long lining, uh, photography, video, different versions of video recording uh, for pipeline patrol, things like that. But when it comes to the, uh, to the enjoyment part and the uh, tourism uh, end of what we do, we really emphasize that we're not really um, giving rides. It's more of a personal tour experience. Right from the beginning, when you uh, in, are invited into the executive lounge, through the uh, safety briefing, and then of course, enjoying some of the safety features that are pointed out right at the helicopter, and, and off we go. And in comfort, again, we, uh, we brag about our bubble windows, our leather seats, and air conditioning. You know, even in the early spring and the late fall, when that sun is bright, uh, shining in those huge windows, we actually turn on the air. So uh, it's just uh, adds to the comfort and enjoyment. We're proud of our city, Edmonton. We're based here. And uh, what I often say is, yeah, it's, you know, we don't have the ocean, we don't have the mountains. The mountains are only half hour away. And our river valley is amazing. Our, our downtown core with all the new development. We've got the Stantec Tower, 65 stories, tallest building in Canada, west of Toronto. Of course, a world-class facility in Rogers Place. Uh, but again, the, the outdoor in winter and summer, the, uh, the valley is amazing. A lot of activities. We're known for that. And what a better way to see all of it than from the air. Thank you so much to everyone at Edmonton Regional Helicopters for making this video happen. Visit erhelicopters.com for more information and to book a flight with them. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.